Okay, let's hook up these settings items to some action now. So what I'll do is um, go to the settings screen and we'll add a couple of actions here that we'll pass in as an on press. So at the top here, um, we're gonna create a function const delete history um, equals use callback because we are passing it into this uh, into this um, component here. So we, we wanna control how, it's, how often it's re-rendered. So use callback. Um, we'll make an async function because we're going to access the storage, the async storage. Um, and we can just uh, put a try catch there. And inside there, we'll say await um, async storage uh, dot set item. And the item we want to set is history. Oops, history. Because this is the key we used in. Uh, right here you see we're getting the item with this key so make sure the keys match up to these wherever you wherever you named it there so set item history and the value is just going to be json dot stringify and an empty array we're setting the storage the uh, history and the storage to an empty array and then all we need to do is dispatch an action so that we remove it from the state because at the moment we've removed it from the storage we also need to remove it from the state as well because otherwise we wouldn't be able to see this uh, cleared until we reloaded the app so it's very simple. We'll go to the history slice and create a new fun uh, reducer function here called um, clear history. It'll be a one line thing um, with a function with state like this. Um, it can You can uh, specify the action as well, but we're not using it, so I'm just going to leave it off. And we'll say state.items equals just an empty array like that. So let's just clear that and scroll down and add it as an export there. Give that a save. And if I go to here, we just want to dispatch that action. So in order to dispatch an action, we need to actually um, get our uh, dispatcher. So const dispatch equals use dispatch like this. Uh, so make sure we've got the import there from React Redux. And in there, um, well, actually in the cats block, I'll just log the error for now. Um, like I said, doesn't matter too much about that. But uh, in there, I'm going to dispatch, and the action on dispatch is going to be this uh, clear uh, history uh, function. So make sure you got the import there, uh, and then we don't need to pass anything into that. So just leave it as an empty parameter, um, and then to check that uh, to confirm to the user it's done, I'll just keep it real simple. I'll just use the alert from React Native. So make sure you add the import there, the alert import um, dot alert. And in double quotes, I'll just say history cleared. Now you could add a title if you wanted to instead. So you could add like success like this and a comma. And then this would be the subtitle, I guess. Let's try that way. Um, that's it. All we got to do is pass this into um, the clear history button now with the on press. So on press equals and just pass that in there. Oh, I need to actually set the um, dependency list for this. So it'll just be dispatch. So in the use callback, oops, comma, and the square brackets just put dispatch. So this will only re-render if a dispatch ever changes. So give a save. And now if I press this, so I've got some history here. That should go away when I press it uh, here. Now I'll clear it. Uh, we don't see any alert. Did it fail? So oh, I've got one press, <laughs> jeez, one press there. So make sure that's on press, give it a save. And now if I press it, you should see success, history cleared. Uh, if I go back to here, history's gone. Uh, saved items oh, would still be there, but we don't have any. Let me just add something. Uh, so I'll add the uh, history item, I'll save it, go back to here, clear the history. Uh, oh, we got an error here, I know why though. We need to go to a translation result. Uh, and I scroll up to this item. At the moment, we're accessing the state.history.items. Uh, we want to first check if it's in there, and if it's not, we'll just return it from the saved item. So at the, this point, this component doesn't know whether the item we're trying to render is a saved item or a history item. So what we're going to do is just check both. So all I need to do is wrap this uh, in curly brackets like this. I mean, I don't need to, but it just makes it a little bit clearer. Uh, I'm going to move this onto the line below like this. I'm going to add a return. Make sure you add the return, otherwise it won't work. So I'm going to add uh, a return there. And then at the end, I'll do a double uh, or symbol, double pipe symbol for or. Um, copy this, paste it. I'll do it on the line below like that. 
and this will be state dot saved items dot find. So so if it finds it in the history array, it will use that. Otherwise, it will use a saved items one. So now if I refresh this, um, you see history is empty, but saved items is still there. Cool. So that's actually working. Um, we just want to hook up this clear saved items one now, and it works in the exact same way. So I'll go back to my setting screen, and I'm going to copy and paste this function below. And this will be delete uh, saved items. Now that won't be set item history, it'll be set item uh, saved items. We're going to set it to an empty string, all the same as that. Um, dispatch, we won't be dispatching clear history. We'll go to the saved items slice and we'll create a new. Oh, actually, no, we don't need to create a new function, I don't think. We could just use this one, this set saved items. So I'll go back to here uh, and we'll just call the set saved items function and I'll just pass in items with an empty array. You could do it as a separate function if you wanted to, but I'll just set the use this one to set saved items and set it to an empty array. Um, success, I'll change this to saved items cleared. Now let's take this say, uh, delete saved items function and let's pass it in here on press, uh, oops, equals, pass it in there. And now if I clear this, success, saved items cleared. And if I go to saved, you see they're gone. So that's it. It works now. Um, we've got this list. So we've got history. Uh, I can save items. Just making a few translations. So I've got my history. I've got my saved items. They appear in the saved list and in the history right there. If I go to here, clear the saved items. Uh, saved items are gone. History's still there and they've been unsaved. If I go to here and clear the oops, clear the history, go back to here and it's gone. So that's it. Great work, guys.